you're talking about 1984 now, your show that you produced? Um, it's been an adventure and a big labor of love. This uh, show uh, was inspired by George Orwell's 1984, so by a book. And uh, I have been looking for a story that I could uh, base um, all my characters on. And when I read it um, a few years ago, I thought that it was amazing because I could uh, find space uh, to connect the little devil, nice. fallen angel, uh, with uh, its reversed values. And uh, I could also make the character grow into something um, more dark mm -hmm. and uh, with a political message. Uh, it also had space for Charlie Chaplin. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I love that piece. Yes, <laughs> it's one too. of my favorites. Thank you. <laughs> and um, uh, also the one that I call uh, Miss Liquid, which basically she's just um, the consciousness of the main character. Mm -hmm. So always wondering if there's some uh, better way of living and a better world out there. And uh, the love soldier. So, oh, yes. And it was great. Uh, <clears throat> I um, uh, yeah, rewrote uh, the story, took some quotes of the book, also used uh, my album, singing yes. album. So uh, we reworked on some of the songs with my composer. Uh, <clears throat> we reorchestrated all the songs that I had, so these were existing choreographies, but because I wanted to have the rights, um, the day the DVD comes out, or when I'm gonna do the show again, mm. um, if I can sell it in big theaters, then I need to have the rights. Absolutely. So everything was made again, and we worked from the video and created the music accordingly. So it was a very interesting process to go deeper with my request of creating music for dance and uh, um, yeah, and then writing more lyrics was really a, a super experience. Yeah, uh, get into singing again. Uh, maybe it was two years after the, the, my first album was recorded, okay. so I had another awareness of my own vocal yeah. possibilities. And, yeah, it was really great uh, and very difficult also because I. I I learned many things in the process of being uh, the director, the dancer, the choreographer, yes. like the designer, ad the artistic director, but at the same time, each yeah. different uh, job, I was doing it different myself, hits, so. yeah. But it's a solo yeah. show, right? So you're the only performer in the show, or it's the other, okay. No, it's not a solo show, so okay. it has uh, two actors, okay. um, my friends uh, Chiara and Massimo from uh, Italy, Spain. Cool. And uh, their company is Compagnia de Lignoni. So I work with them on different projects. Uh, this one is one of them. And then they also invited me in their show oh, cool. that is really great uh, about the theater of senses. Yeah. So it's uh, an installation that's put up in museums or Amazing. we've had to do it in a residency once. And it's like a labyrinth where each spectator comes in one at a time and has a private show for 20 minutes just for him. Uh, it's Incredible, really. Wow. And, uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> and thanks to Kiana Massimo, and also now the fact that the show has been done two years ago, I had time to digest it. I had yeah. time to detach from it. I had time to love it and also not hate it, but just I just needed distance mm -hmm. and a break. And now that I am, uh, I have healed yeah. <laughs> from from it and giving birth to this huge baby. Um, now I'm able to look at the video and say that works, that doesn't. I can have the real role of a director now that yeah. I'm really outside. Yes. Um, it's very difficult to be in and out at the same mm. time. Absolutely.